So let's continue the LC oscillators. طبعا we talked about the low band oscillators or the low uh, band RC or the active RC. And we said that uh, the frequency is limited to the bandwidth uh, or mainly to the OBAM limitations, which is the band with the slow rate and other effects. By the way, Shabab, I cannot see you uh, see the chat or, sh or see the hands. So let me know if you have any questions. Just unmute yourself and ask your questions. So then we talked about uh, how we can take or how we can implement or realize a very large or high frequency oscillators, uh, maybe something in gigahertz. So. Uh, why not to use the LC tank? So the LC tank or the LC oscillators can be used uh, where we just um, apply some uh, current to the LC tank and uh, that current will refresh the LC tank because the LC tank uh, in, practice, in practice is not ideal. They are lousy. They have uh, some resistance, either res series resistance or uh, power resistance uh, that is uh, deviate the LC tank from being uh, ideal. So we're expecting the oscillation to decay and we need some an, some amplifier to refresh that circuit or to make it resonate at uh, the LC tank value or the LC tank resonance value. OK, um, so uh, we'll talk about the LC oscillator uh, with two uh, famous uh, oscillators, the culpits and the Hartley oscillators. By the way, Shabab, let me ask you, what, what is the resonance of this circuit? What is the resonance frequency here? 1 over uh, LC. Exactly, 1 over LC. OK, so this is for the uh, LC uh, circuit, and we are trying to uh, resonate our LC oscillators, who are Colbert's or Hartley, using the same equation here. The difference between these two oscillators in the Colbert's will have two capacitors. So these two capacitors, okay? And if you consider only the, uh, the LC tank here alone, I mean, regardless of the impedance seen from here, just any for you, because there will be an impedance seen from there, right? which is one of our GM. But for now, just focus on this one. So this is nothing but an inductor with two uh, series capacitors, right? C1 and C2, okay? And of course, the inductor will be what? It's connected to the VDD, but from the AC point of view, it will be connected to ground. So we are seeing uh, a capacitors or two capacitors uh, with uh, in series, and then they are in series the L1, OK? And what do you think of the Omega R here? It should be the same, right? Which is 1 over N uh, LC. But what is C here? What is the capacitance here? C1 uh, and C2 in series. Exactly, uh, which is C. C so so equivalent. Let's let's call this one C equivalent, okay? And let me just generalize it. So maybe I generalize it as omega r to be one over L equivalent C equivalent, okay? So L equivalent here will be L equivalent here will be L one, and C equivalent here will be the series connection between C one and C two which is C1 plus C2 over C1 multiplied by C2, right? So if you do that, that will give you the culpits frequency of oscillation, okay? And the main difference between the culpits and the Hartley, okay, it will be uh, the connection of the inductor and the capacitor. So this is culpits. Uh, of course, we'll come to the, to, to the analysis of culpits again. But this is just for you, Shabab, to know the main difference between these two. So we're expecting the culpits to have a frequency of oscillation at L1, C1 plus C2 over C1 and C2. Right? And if you are talking about culpit, Hartley, and I'm using now, it's like a general comparison, we'll come to the analysis. So if you're talking about Hartley, 
so this one, not sure if there is an E with at. Uh, so heart three will be with E or without. Yes, with E. So this one will be with E. Here. OK, so for Hartley, uh, we'll do the same, but now we have two inductors in series. OK, we'll, we, we, will, we will see that the equivalent, the, the, the circuit that we'll be using for oscillator. So what do you think of Omega R here for Hartley? So this is L1, L2 and C. What do you think of Omega R for Hartley? Yeah, two inductors in series and one capacitor. Uh, L1 plus C L2 and C. equivalent uh, inductor. Exactly, L1 plus L2, madrub fi C. C. Okay, so uh, now you can see the main difference between these two famous capacitors, uh, famous LC oscillators. And by the way, uh, Hartley comes first. It was invented in, I believe, uh, 15, 1915. And then the Colbert's come after that, like five years or four years after that, tamam? Uh, because we don't like to have two inductors in the, in, the, the, in, the, in the circuit. We like to have more capacitors in the circuit. Uh, I think it's uh, it's obvious now that the inductor are bulky, inductors are bulky and uh, lousy. They are uh, not good when it comes to the interference. So the capacitors will be better. And we are usually trying to uh, avoid using inductors here. But they are uh, available and they are used uh, uh, all over. So these are like famous LC oscillators. And you can see now the difference between them. Just two capacitors and one inductor. It's nothing but a Colbert diamond, huh? طبعا يجي واحد يقول لي والله لأنه في C هنا معناته عندي more capacitors. It's okay. You can link these together somehow. If you have Henry here, like more and more inductors, that is also fine. But at the end of the day, if you have two capacitors, two capacitors and one inductor, that's nothing but a culprit oscillator. If you have two inductors, one capacitor, that's nothing but a Hartley oscillator. OK, so let's dive into the culprits and let's find the frequency of oscillation. Confirming oh, this one here. Isn't uh, C equivalent to the opposite multiplication over uh, addition? Uh, yes, yes, you're right. You mean this one, sir? Huh? Yes, yes. Yes, yes, should be C1, C2, C1 plus C2. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Take a look. C1, C2, C1 plus C2. Okay. Uh, right. So let's go to now for the uh, Hartley. And by the way, R is not there now. So I want to, increase, to, to add R here. Fine. So that's our R for uh, maybe uh, it's like for the amplifier. Uh, by the what is this amplifier, Shabab? If you're considering Vx and Vy, so let's take this one as V out. So for V out comparing to Vx, what is this amplifier? Common gate. Exactly, so this is a common gate amplifier, okay? So we are using a common gate amplifier in this uh, implementation and we have implementation and this is the common drain amplification. So here okay. we have concerned about the amplification. Right. So let's now uh, try to uh, solve this problem. I mean solve this, uh, uh, let me call it this, uh, this oscillator. And uh, for that, I will draw the circuit. So this is your inductor here. This is the resistor. Okay. And let's uh, use uh, the the what? Uh, maybe let's use the BGT implementation. OK, so it's the same thing, but now we are considering uh, R by as well. So this one will be your current here. OK, and then طبعًا, I'm bringing here because uh, it is the same, it's the same implementation, but this one will be more general than the MOSFET. OK, so this one will be C1 from here and C2 connected to ground. 
C1, C2, and this one connected to this node. Okay. Taban, you can do uh, as we did last time. You can just disconnect the beta circuit, the A circuit, and then you can work it out. This is one idea, and it will be somehow uh, 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 not an easy uh, implementation or not an easy analysis because you have here one over GM coming from this side, and you want to include also the impedance of the drain, or sorry, for of the collector from the other side. So maybe let's do it once, but I will do a trick here, and this is a very good trick. Uh, so I'm drawing now uh, an AC model for this one. So this is the AC model. So I have this one here. This one, of course, will be grounded. And now I have my GM VBE. OK, uh, let me draw it here. Because I need to have space. I will show you the trick. GM VPE and now my I have my R pi, of course connected to ground because VB will be, this is DC and from SC point of view it will be ground. Okay. And now what else? I have what? So C1 and C2 coming this way. Do you agree with that, Shabab? Any problem so far? So this is inductor, this is the, the resistor. Do you agree with this implementation? Uh, okay. Yes, Doctor. Fine. What I will do here, I will do a trick. I mean, uh, kind of, it's, sorry. Uh, I need another color. Where are we? Oops, where are we? I think here. Okay, so, I will do here a current and let me call that current to be IT. OK, and if I connect this one to ground and if I connect this one to ground, don't you think that IT is nothing but the same as GMVBE? Because I take like a, it's like a super node, the ground here, and then I split it into two, two different currents. OK. So I have the I test, which is nothing but G in VBE. It is the same thing. Do you agree with that? And let me call this one to be maybe a VY. And this one to be VX. And our goal is about to find the loop gain. So I'm starting, for example, from VX arriving to VX again, that's nothing but the loop game. OK, that's the main idea here is just to go around the loop. Taking VX, you go around the loop, OK, and then you find VX. Uh, uh, I mean, you find the gain uh, of the loop. So uh, what we have, Shabab, what do we know about? What is VY in terms of IT? What about now? What is VY in terms of IT? Don't IT you think that... by the resistance? Um, exactly. Uh, let, let Not only the resistance, huh? Not only the resistance, the current will be the current flowing here, right? So VY will be IT multiplied by impedance, equivalent impedance seen by this. And what is the impedance seen from here? One over R game, so? With L. Yes, yes. It is one over game. And if you're looking from this side, it is one over game. So, so I have the Z equivalent will be C2 or 1 over C2 in parallel with 1 over GM, right? Plus 1 over SC1, all in parallel with R parallel with SL. Do you agree with that? 
that's a very large impedance. But anyway, do you agree with that? So let me call this one uh, one here. And then, uh, so uh, what is IT uh, that we found before, Shabab? Or let me ask you, what is VBE? What is VBE? Isn't it the same as, so this is VBE, sir? So? VBE. So VBE or VB, yes, VBE will be minus VX. So, yeah, Shabab? so then your I test will be GM VX. Okay. And then what will be your VY? So VY will be minus GM VX multiplied by Z equivalent. OK, so this is one equation. This is one important equation. Now we have the relation between VY and VX. We need to find another equation to give us the same thing. We need to give us, I mean, we need an equation that give us a relation between VY and VX again. And then you can just substitute both of them and it will give you the loop gain. OK, so uh, I will do a KCL at uh, VX node, so let's do that. KCL at VX node. And let's do that together, Shabab. Will be VX C2, which is the current flowing of, uh, through C2, and then what? VX minus VY SC1. صحيح شباب الكارنت اللي يمشي من هنا اوكي and then the current flowing uh, through uh, uh, I mean the current so we are talking about the current leaving right so these are leaving now we have minus gm vbe and what is minus gm vbe شباب it's nothing but plus gm vx خلونا نكتبها in two steps so this is minus gm vbe Right, and also the current, the other current can be minus VBE over RX. And we know that this is C2 plus VX minus VY is C1. And we know VBE is nothing but minus VX as we found before. So this one will be plus GM VX plus VX over R by. This is R by. OK, and you can see we have the relation between VX and VY. OK, so uh, I don't think I have uh, I have them together. Uh, I mean, you can arrange them together, Shabab. So I can do what VX SC2 uh, plus SC1 plus GM plus one over R by equals, what is Vx, Vy now? That's Vy is C1, okay? And then you take this to this equation, <clears throat> let's call it three. So use three N2. And if you are able to do that, uh, at the end of the day, you will have, uh, the, the the transfer function or the loop gain function. I'm not sure if I have the loop function. Where is it? Uh, so that's uh, what is it? Yeah, I believe this is the one. So S cube. Oops. No, it's not. Uh, oh, this is for MOSFET. OK, so just try it, Shabab, because I think we don't have time to go to, to write them down. If you can just take the Y here, OK, and substitute N2, the same for Z equivalent, it is available. But if you do that, you will find your frequency of oscillation will be omega squared equals and the I need you guys to confirm this result later in your free time if you do that. 
you will find your omega naught squared to be the same as the one that we got before, which is C1 plus C2 over L times C1 and C2. Or in another words, it's nothing but what? Omega equals 1 over, if you like to write it down as such, that C1, C2 over C1 plus C2, which is the same as before. Same as this one. Okay, the lower resonance has the culbits. فتلاحظون الكولبتس يس اند باي ذا واي ذس از سم هاو اغنورينج الار باي افكت اف يو ونت تو انكلود الار باي افكت اور الجي اللي هو البي جي تي ذا فريكونسي هير ويل بي سلايتلي ليس ذان ليس ذان ذس فاليو بات ذس از ا فيري جود ابروكسيميشن اور ا فيري جود ريزلت يعني ليتس سي اف يو ار جيتينج 1 جيجا هرتز And if you want to consider the R by, you may get like nine, uh, 980 megahertz, which is very, very close to 1 gigahertz. And the condition of oscillation, and this is what? This is given by the loop gain J omega, the phase of the loop gain equals to zero. And I'm not sure if I have another, okay, no other worksheet. Uh, if you do the other one, the other condition, which is the magnitude <clears throat> of J omega naught, the magnitude of the loop gain at omega naught, which is this one here, equals to one, it will give you the condition of oscillation, and it is found to be equal. So let me write it here. So the condition of oscillation here. will be GM multiplied by R equals C1 plus C2 all squared over C1 and C2. زي ما كنا نعمل يا شباب من أول تأخذ الأوميجا نوت تحطها باللوب جين اللي ما جينا ريبارت ويل جو ويل بي كانسلد and then you can find your condition of oscillation. Okay? And if C1 equals C2 equals C let's say What will be the gain, Shabab, of the circuit? I mean, what will be the condition of the circuit? So this one will be what? Will be 4 times C squared over C squared, right? So now you have GM4 uh, uh, equals uh, 4. And of course, this is condition of oscillation. Usually we use the greater or equal uh, um, sign just to make sure we have a stable condition or a stable oscillation. Okay, so that's the condition that you want to meet uh, to have your circuit oscillate. Any questions there, Shabab? Uh, I didn't get the final loop gain, but I think it's doable. You can use just three and two, uh, three, two, and, uh, and of course, the, uh, the Z equivalent here to find uh, the loop gain. And just try it and confirm the results. What is the time now? Okay, still don't have time. So any questions for the call bits? No questions? Okay, so these are the also call bits. As I said, Shabab, two oscillate, two capacitors and one inductor. These are different configurations for call bits. So if I give you this one or this one or that one, All of them are considered culprits because we have two capacitors and one inductor. And what do you think, Shabab, of omega R here? Omega naught, sorry, for both of them or all of them. What should be omega naught for all of them? Hello, Shabab. The culprits diamond واحد يعني. Square root of L multiplied by C1 plus C2 over C1. Exactly, C1, C2 over C1 plus C2. Diamond over then, okay? Because if you look closely to the configuration, considering the A is not there, I mean, taking off the LC tank alone, you will see that the inductor will be in parallel with two capacitors in series. So it should give you always the omega naught equals to the same value here, okay? Uh, and this is for the culprits. Uh, now, if you want to go to the, the Hartley oscillators, you are just reversing 
the 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 or exchanging the inductors with capacitors. So we have two inductors here and one capacitor. Okay, and as we mentioned, I think we found the, 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 we already mentioned about the, the, the resonance. So the resonance frequency will be one over L1 plus L2 uh, times the capacitor. Okay, so we'll not do the uh, the condition of oscillation for Hartley. Uh, it is doable with the same uh, as as the same for the culprits, but if I give you another circuit that involves two inductors here, you should be able to identify the LC oscillator to be Hartley, but not culprits. And I think you have in the homework you have some LC oscillators that you you need to analyze, just to give you the practice of finding the frequency of oscillation and the condition of oscillation. Okay, Shabab. Any questions so far? Because I will stop here uh, for your uh, exam. No questions? Okay, so uh, maybe, uh, what is the time now? Now I think it should be deployed in your Blackboard. So if you can uh, turn on your webcam, and uh, let's try Blackboard, the, the, the exam in the Blackboard. Yeah, let's talk. Let's talk.